crops or cabbage family. This is a very nutritious set of plants that we're going to be talking about today. When I say the cabbage family, there are actually many different vegetables that we grow in the cruciferous family, the cruciferae. Cabbage is one of them, but closely uh, related are broccoli, Brussels sprouts, kale, and many others. Radicchio is a good example of, the, of these kind of specialty crops that are in this family. They're high in vitamin A, vitamin C. Uh, they have good calcium and iron. In addition, there's a cabbage glucosinate called Sinegrin that has shown great promise as a cancer preventative. These crops can be started in spring, early spring, about six weeks before the last frost, or uh, out in the garden in June in our area. Except for Brussels sprouts, which is a long season crop of 120 days. So you start the seeds in the spring to have those plants mature in the late growing season. In fact, a frost won't hurt Brussels sprouts at all and may improve the flavor. To get started, you plant the seeds about a quarter inch deep in compost or potting soil six weeks before the last frost or right in the ground in the garden in June. After the seeds emerge, after the little plants emerge after, uh, in seven days generally, you give them another week and then you thin the plants, transplanting these little plants into larger pots to give them more room. If you've planted them in the garden, you just thin them out and let the, each plant stand where they are about a foot apart. You want to plant your cold crops in full sun, but if part of your garden is shady, you can put these plants in light shade, leaving the sunny parts of your garden for the, the warm season sun-loving plants like tomatoes. You want a good, well-tilled soil. With, uh, they are heavy feeders, so it's got to have plenty of uh, compost or other nitrogen-rich amendments. And the pH range is best from 6.3 to 6.8. And if you've had any problem with club root, a disease of cabbage plants in the past, you'll want to keep the pH at a fairly high level. When you're purchasing your plants at a garden center, you want to pull those plants out of the pot or the insert and take a look at the roots. You want to be planting a teenager plant with plenty of vim and vigor. You don't want a too mature plant these we've grown here at Marsh Botanic Gardens. They're a bit on the uh, mature side, but they're just fine. We've had five days of rain in the last week, so I'm gonna go ahead and plant these. Notice the roots. These uh, roots, if, they, if this root mass gets, covers the bottom of the ball, you wanna avoid buying that plant. Again, we plant these plants in well-tilled garden soil, well-drained. and water immediately. An important point when planting vegetables, in my way of thinking, is to make sure you label everything. This is a little Savoy cabbage, and what I do in my labeling system, I write the on the label the day that I planted the seeds, the day I transplanted into a larger pot, and the day I put it out in the garden, and I make sure and put the name of the plant right next to it. This may seem like a lot of work, but later on as you compare which varieties of broccoli, say, um, that, that were the most productive and the best for you, you'll want to make sure that you have records of, of what you planted.